What's up guys? Today I'm going to be watching another one of the Cyberpunk 2077 videos. Now a little while back, as you can see, they released a 48 minute walkthrough. And what this is, it's apparently some gameplay. As it says as well, it's a work in progress, doesn't represent the final look of the game, so things could change. But anyway, I'm going to check this video out. I'll be responding, occasionally pausing, and talking about things that I see that are going to be awesome. Uh, let's get to it. Clear. Go. This is an RPG, so before we... Okay, uh, so let's take a quick look at what they have here. And I noticed primarily off to the side, they've got the backstory listed, so it's giving you choices as to... Your, your background, basically. Things that might alter the way you react in situations, conversation pieces, and whatnot. So we got the childhood hero, samurai rocker boy. That's the uh, musician, I believe, Johnny Silverhand. Solo of Fortune, Morgan Blackhand, and corporate god Saburo Arasaka. He's the leader of the corporation that the game sort of focuses around, if I recall correctly. Different key life events, death of a sibling, ran away from home, or your first big kill, and why Night City, got some unfinished business, ex-lover in town, or something to prove. So these are all sort of generic, it seems like. Something I have heard talked about previously in another video I came across was that they're not going to have sliders when it comes to facial customization. It's actually going to just be presets. You can change, as you can see, the eye color, skin color, uh, and a few presets on nose, mouth, jaw, and so forth. But it's not going to be like a lot of the other video games where you actually can just change specific locations with a slider. Tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. So you get options for a few tattoos, same thing, Not probably not some sort of a slider, but they're going to give you a whole lot of presets. I, I doubt it's going to allow you to build your own tattoos. Ah, and here you go, you have your stats, and this is honestly, it looks pretty much like a Dungeons & Dragons game for statistics. So strength, con, intelligence, reflexes, tech, and cool. Cool, my assumption would be that is your charisma. Reflexes is going to be your Dungeons & Dragons equivalent to re uh, to dexterity. Tech is a different thing altogether. Uh, pro probably makes sense within the scope of the cyberpunk world. Uh, in Dungeons & Dragons, you would have wisdom there, but I don't think the two are even remotely correlated. Also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named Tiba, are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. Almost clear. Go! 12.37. On your right. Girls inside. Been down an hour. Better don't know Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. Now, I've been playing role-playing games since, good lord, probably the late 80s, early, early 90s. And I'm so glad that now we actually have the equivalent of first-person shooter role-playing games. It just makes it feel so much more immersive as opposed to the top-down games. Not to say that those games aren't incredibly fun. Uh, I've been playing those my entire life. But man, just Mass Effect and games of that style where you get to run and gun along with having all of the roleplay aspects behind it are just so much better in my opinion. We have full access in 2.8 seconds. Breached it. Your turn. Orale, lead the way, I know. Alarms neutralized. Also, pay attention to this here background soundtrack. Uh, that is very much something that's important when it comes to cyberpunk anything. Uh, all the old Shadowrun games had it. Anything that's trying to set you in that cyberpunk style dystopian feel, you need that sort of techno background music. Is that hurt? Is that our target V? 
room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Okay, things are about to get heated. So much for that guy. We'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. Okay, so that's interesting. So it's going to have abilities that you can use by taking certain enhancement drugs, as it were. Alright, this is one thing I'm not a big fan of, and I certainly allow I certainly hope that they allow you to turn this off in the actual game is the numbers that you see on the screen. I don't care what the actual numerical damage I'm dealing is. I'd much rather just see that the shots hit. This is Kereznikov. Fully destructible world as well. Uh, maybe not everything is, but you can definitely see damage to the locations that you're hitting on the walls. Very cool feature and adds more realism to the game. Cover, fight cover. Can't see shit. So this was the thing I had also heard about is that situations might have multiple ways of handling them. I'm sure you could have just stayed there in the primary hallway shooting at him, but then getting the little side option to go through the side room and get him seems cool. Hey, give us a lift out of here. What jerks. So you got your target and got them to their uh, medical team to get them out of there. Now it's your turn to get all out. Clear. How about you, Hannah? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. You can live in a content of combat. Hey, Sophie. Look, I need to talk to you. That news as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, Hannah. Make the Doc wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. Okay. Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us, and we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc today. Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. So I like this. It's giving you access to how the individual character actually lives. You, you get full access to their apartment. You can see the views from outside. Just a neat little side thing that's not particularly important to the gameplay, but it is important to the feel of the game. Also, the 1970s uh, sort of inset couch lounge area, that's definitely a throwback thing. Love it. Okay, so this is your armor, effectively. It's giving you street cred. Oh, so that increases your leveling speed, physical resistance, thermal resistance, EMP. Why you'd need that, I have no idea. Well, I guess if you have a lot of cyber tech, that might make a big difference. And chem resistance. Uh, this is sort of a function of RPGs in general. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. In this timeline, technology in the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. Now, this is another thing that's absolutely important as well for the cyberpunk feel of things. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie Blade Runner or Bla you know, the, the sequel to it, it's this living situation, this living condition. And this has always been a thing within the cyberpunk uh, universe, as it were, where everybody just sort of lives in these gigantic megaplexes. You know, your neighbors are all, you're living in a giant apartment building, basically. You know, all of your stores that you shop at are going to be there. All your restaurants you eat are going to be there. It's just part of daily life living with in the cyberpunk cities. This is Wilson, one of Night City's many gunsmiths. We are working hard to make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. 
very strong sick. Now, if they're trying to make this a completely seamless world, one thing I would love to see, and I have no idea if they've managed to pull this off, but if every single location within that city was accessible. Yeah, you could have certain areas that are cut off that you don't want people going to at certain points in the game. But in general, if I want to go into a neighboring building and there's a door there, I should be able to go through that door into the building. Now, I understand that's a tall order to build an entire city out of you know, an entire city that you have access to, but I think it should be something that they try to do. Silverhand's debut out, Matt. Could be some truth to that. Goddamn music fans. Oh, it's the best album ever, and then that was the end of their career. Meh. Also, this is kind of horrifying to me. I'm actually sitting here watching this video, and I'm still actually getting the feel of being in a city, the overcrowding, too much population, too many damn people in the way. Um, I hope that driving isn't going to give me fits when I get stuck into a traffic jam. Cops are sitting there. You better not jaywalk. Yep. Wait for the side. There you go. Green light. Go on. Quickly, quickly. Well done. Dexter Deshawn, a fixer, a person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Is that Rick Ross? Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. The link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Kuroshi Tech. So the subdermal weapons link thing should be cool. Uh, it allows you to, well, at least within all of the other cyberpunk style games, primarily Shadowrun, because that's what I'm the most familiar with. It allowed you to use smart weapons. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Good lord, that's a little bit more than just a, a bit of anesthetic. I just want to point out, with as often as computers break down, crash, blue screen of death, yeah, things of that nature, why would you ever want to get that installed in you? Uh, no, just no. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. <laughs> oh, you've never seen me playing a video game before. I'd end up wrecking this car. Nice ride, though. Hey, Carlal! Yeah, looks like it's styled after a Lamborghini. Now it's so weird because I love first-person shooter games and first-person RPGs, but I can't play video games driving in first-person. It's just sort of disorienting. Ahead, Watch it that is one souped-up minivan. So why did this guy buy himself a brand new car, and then he's just letting you chauffeur him everywhere? Like if I bought a awesome sports car like that i'm gonna be driving it they are members of the maelstrom gang and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards yeah in one of the previous videos i talked about i recall the maelstrom gang they were all heavily cybered out if uh basically a couple of the guys didn't even actually have faces it was just robotic base plates that they could interchange on their path to becoming machines they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti-personnel mine. Shrapnel's better. Hm, my favorite. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods meat factory their hideout. Wow. Charming. Several mines. Another one? Seriously? Well, that was three of them. Maybe Four of them. we should have taken them by surprise. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. Yeah, it'd be a lot of shooting. I'd be hiding behind stuff. Have a whiff. Okay, kids. Better. If somebody hands you something, says take a whiff, don't do it. Ever. 
Oh, and it looks like you're going the violent route either way. It turns out the cred chip we got from the Militech agent contained a virus Cut which off. fried their system. Virus. Okay, let's equip the splint to our chip wares. So I just want to say it's this done. bot the looks bot amazing. Uh, it, all, we go? it honestly it reminds all me of right. something what from Ghost in the have? Shell. If you've seen the anime, they have nice. different bots, drones and so forth that all have similar Tech technology to it. Around. Oh yeah! Yeah, that is amazing. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system oh my connected God. to our eyes. Ricochet this shots. This allows players to Captain America with bullets and hit enemies hiding behind cover. Yeah, don't run at somebody with a shotgun. It's just a horrible plan. Wonder if you can Looks steal like stuff. We found yeah. Okay. This Take that gear. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason. Yeah, there we go. We've seen the smart weapons before in a previous video. Just lock onto the targets and let the bullets do the work. Gotta get out of that crossfire. Need to hurry. Gotta take some drugs, get high. It's like on PCP, I don't feel anything. Don't do drugs, kid. Jesus Christ! <laughs> my legs. And your head, and your head, don't forget that part. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked Okay, into you're never going to choke somebody unconscious that quickly. All right. Time to show off our new high-level abilities. Oh, well that's why you didn't get those, you already had them. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous ship. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier revealed a weak spot. Attacking should bring the shield down. It's the BBEG, the big bad evil guy. It looks like his weapon has a lot of force behind it, but it doesn't have a lot of piercing ability. Mind you, this is not a game turn. This is just me rambling on and thinking about this. He was shooting that car, but it wasn't penetrating. It was just pushing it. Oh, laser beam. There you go. Shoot that thing. A little bit like Horizon Zero Dawn in the targeting of certain locations. Shields down. But the only thing I want to pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh, no. Not another three-nighter, por favor. You lied. Need to get to know this city, Jack. You said you were clean. Not just gun in hand. I want a crusade. Amen. I know. We finished the job, but our story is just beginning. This concludes our gameplay demo walk. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. It was definitely entertaining for me. Hopefully you enjoyed it and my commentary on it. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, click the like, the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. That way you can keep up with everything we are doing on this channel. Catch you next time.